but I don't need you anymore. Take that back. Uh-uh. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Watching Some More Supernatural at Season 7, Episode 8. And it's titled Season 7, Time for a Wedding. Who now? Um, I don't think we're in the position to have weddings. Like, there's a lot going on. What do you mean time for a wedding? We don't even have time to relax. I don't know, I'm curious. That's an interesting title. It's it's probably like someone else's wedding and something's gonna happen, but oh well, we'll see. Okay, you won't believe like Vegas? I just say it to get a bigger Wait, wedding? Try me. I have this friend. He's good with his younger brother, right? Cannon's a little loose. You know, his reactor blew a while back. It's not good. Um, my friend, he's, uh, he's kind of been sitting waiting to see if he goes guano. And I assume it just hit the fan. Well, that's the thing. It didn't. Excuse me. Speaking of the devil. It's four blocks away. Wear fed suit. See, baby bro needs you after all. Always. Oh no, that's a, a chapel. Is Sam getting married? Sam's getting married. So, a little sudden, but life is short, so I'll keep this shorter. I'm in love. And I'm getting married. <laughs> Say something, like, uh, congratulations, for example. <laughs> what? The lip. No, no, Becky. no. What, what did she do? I'm so glad you're here. She put a spell on him or something? This can't be true. We get a custom made little intro thing? Nah. Shouldn't she ask for my permission or something? <laughs> Where is the uh, short version? We we Chuck. We met, we ate, and then talked and fell in love and you know, here we are. Yeah, I guess I'm all caught up. See? Not a monster. Just the right girl for your brother. Huh? That's it. The bill. I got it. Did she do a love spell? You do do your brother thing. I love Dean's faces. Really? <laughs> Super fan 99? Sam is there with his wife. That's right, you heard me. His wife. Call me. <laughs> There's something. Her high Hi, school Justin. reunion? Let me call you back. Just get a sitter. It's not calculus. It's Becky. Becky Rosen? Oh. <laughs> Yucky Becky. <laughs> Long time ago. Yucky, Becky. <laughs> oh. It's Rosen Winchester. She put a some wrecking down plus one. Fell on him. For the high school reunion. I can get on board Jocelyn with that. Caruso. Guy. Meet my husband, Sam. Hey. It's an honor to meet you, Sam. Thanks. You too. Guy's a really good friend. I should uh, get back to it or this party's not gonna happen, right? Sure. Was he in love with her or something? Guy's an event planner. Reunion season is very busy for him. I swear, if everyone had a Wiccan in their pocket, the world would be a happier place. It is nothing. Bless it be, sweetie. He did it! Why am I? What am I doing here? Uh oh. 
Oh no, I don't like this. Never mind. She's kind of it's kind of like she's drugging him. Yeah, no, that's not okay. If it's just for the high school reunion thing, she could have asked. You know, she could have been like, Can you come with me? No. Oh shit. Oh. But there's that 10 year time frame on collecting souls. Then there's cursed object, like in Bad Day at Black Rock. We haven't been able to connect the VIX yet. You're working this case together? <laughs> yeah. All right, listen, Cookie, I don't know what kind of mojo you're working, but believe me, I will find out. I think that's my wife you're talking to. You're not even acting like yourself, Sam. What Becky and I have is real. And if you can't accept that, that's your problem, not ours. Or what I have is real. And if you can't accept that, that's your problem. I mean, you took care of me, and that's great. But I don't need you anymore. Take that back. Uh-uh. Becky? This is... <laughs> Beautiful. Taller. Okay. He's pretty tall. Okay. Hey, is that you? Yes. Awkward. Mm. Okay. That look. So, what's with the scrawny guy? We're in love. Temp. I'm sorry. I meant more like, uh, you know, black magic or hoodoo. <laughs> He's good. He jokes. He's so, really good. So your uh, wife seems pretty stoked on the promotion, don't she? Honestly, I've never seen her happier. I have no to. idea how I'm going to tell her I have to resign. The news is just going to kill her. Mm. <gasps> You're following her. Holy shit. You okay? You made a deal with the demon in exchange for your everlasting. Except those are tenure contracts. Why is the bill coming due so fast? Yeah. Oh, I got feeling about it. That's what I was gonna say. It's like a few right, days right, right. after. Uh, well, what's, what's happening? Don't you remember? We're married. Oh, God. I'm going deep. <laughs> Not with the waffle iron. This is not okay. Sam, do you feel concussion y? Supposed to be with a love potion. How? Thin walls. He's Look. right there. Yes, I used a social lubricant. You roofied me. Yeah. A roofie? I'd never. We had a great time together. Let's talk price. Her soul? What? Well, we're a little past the freebie stage, don't you think? We'll take your soul. You're a crossroads demon. Bingo, bango. <laughs> Becky, I'm prepared to offer you a one-time only deal. Not 10 years. 25. No pianos, guaranteed. No. Just Sam. Don't do it. Because I guess that if he does it, it takes Sam out of the equation of like he's gonna hunt and everything because he's gonna be too busy being in love with Becky. This is not how I imagined spending my reunion. Mm -hmm. I was gonna show you off. Not that anyone actually knows who you are. Supernatural is not exactly popular, but you're tall and. Untie him. You left and Chuck dumped me. Mm. I think I intimidated him with my vibrant sexuality. Mm -hmm. I just want someone who loves me for me. Is that too much to ask? If you want somebody to love you for you, 
Maybe don't drug them. But I want you. And this is the only way. We sealed the deal with a kiss. Exactly. I'll grow up, sweetheart. I'm not your sweetheart. Ooh. Blueberry vodka. Now you're running your little scam. Well, Who's doing the dirty work? How do you mean, Dean? Signing 10 year deals, snuffing them that week. That's why it's important to have a capable intern. <laughs> But why? That's what I'm talking about. Whoa. Oh crap. Now you said it, you're in a world. Hello, boy. Oh crap. You're Crowley. <laughs> and you're well, I'm sure you have a wonderful personality, dear. Ah, They're stuff. so mean, like Not she's a necktie little friend here. Reason we don't call our chits in early consumer confidence. This isn't Wall Street, this is hell. We have a little something called integrity. This gets out. Who'll deal with us? Nobody. Then where are we? I don't know. That's right. You don't. I'll cancel every deal he's made. What are you gonna do with him? Make an example of him. You're in trouble. What I miss? Pretty much everything. Annulment. Yes, please and thank you. It, it wasn't all bad, right? No, you're a creep. You're not a loser, okay? You're a good person and, and you got a lot of. Don't make her feel better. Energy. The right guy will find you. Don't drug him. I gotta say, man, you uh, you don't suck. Dean is so. Thank you. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. That's sad. Oh. Hug yeah. him. <laughs> Take care. Wow. Oh, you made a point. Uh huh. <laughs> You know, I gotta say, man, for a whack job, you really pulled it together. It's the nicest thing anyone said to me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, don't be too impressed, man. It's still a Denver scramble up here. I just know my way on the plate now. I'm just saying, it's stupid to think that you need me around all the time. You know what, though? Seriously, might be nice. What? I mean, you've basically been looking out for me your whole life. Now you finally get to take care of yourself. About time, huh? Yeah. Right. He doesn't know how. He doesn't want to. He wants to take care of Sam. Oh my god, what was that? Look, I know that this episode was more on the comedic side because we knew Becky. We knew her. We knew that she was obsessed with Sam. So that's why when the episode started, it was like, no, there's obviously something going on. And at first I was like, oh, so he's under a spell because she wants to bring him to the high school reunion to flex in front of people. I understood that. I was like, yeah, makes sense. She looks like with the interaction she had with that girl was super rude, by the way. Yucky Becky. Stop that. Like, you're a grown-up. I understand that kids and teenagers can be assholes. They really are. But you're an adult now. Don't... Anyways. So I understood. I was like, oh, I get it. But not because I get it means it's okay. But I thought that that would be the extent of it. You know? But then he started to... Because I thought it was a spell. Like, she did a spell after when she fed it to him it was like she was drugging him literally he was coming to his senses and he was like becky like what are you doing here what am i doing here and she just force fed it to him no that's where i was like no this is this is not no 
again with the double standards, right? Same thing when it was the, I think it was back in season three, it was the ship thing that was coming. Like if you saw the ship, you would die. And it was back with Bella and they were to, they were going to like an event, a charity event. I'm really not sure what it was for, but we had this older lady that would just like grope Sam the whole time. And it's like, we knew that this older lady wouldn't like force herself on Sam. Like she probably couldn't physically force herself on him. But I still thought it was really creepy because if it were an older guy doing this to a young girl, Sam's age, people would be like outraged. But at first it was like funny when she was making small comments because she saw Sam and she was just like, oh my God, like, oh. It was funny because Sam is good looking. He's tall, he's handsome. Like, of course, like you're gonna see him and be like, oh shit. But then she was grabbing his butt and just like groping him and it was like, no, like this is not funny. Don't make this, it's just awkward. And that was basically the same thing that happened this episode. But nonetheless, it was pretty funny. Like the first half, like just seeing Dean's reactions <laughs> to like the situation, seeing Sam being like, yeah, we're in love, we're soulmates. He was just like freaking out. So I thought that was pretty funny. And to see Crowley again, and the way he was like, yo, I met that dude, didn't like him. You can take them out, I'll steer clear. So I guess that's good. But yeah, overall that was an enjoyable episode. And that new guy that we saw, um, I don't know, it was pretty funny. I think he was a hunter that Bobby recommended because Bobby couldn't come himself. But he was entertaining. <laughs> he was definitely a different kind of hunter that we're used to seeing and very different from Sam and Dean. So that was cool. Maybe we'll see him again. Who knows? But yeah, that was good. That was season seven, episode eight. Season seven, time for a wedding. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you for the next episode. Thank you so much for watching.